You know, this pandemic really has people thinking about different groups of people, from our essential workers to our healthcare providers. Yes, clap it up, give it up. But what about America's smallest minority? Affluent Americans. Because this virus affects rich people's bodies just as much as anyone else's, but thank God, rich people have one of the best antibodies around. Money! Wealthy escaping problem zones by chartering private jets, airlifting their entire families to a holiday home to, quote, sit it out. Folks who have second and third homes in West Palm Beach and uh, Nantucket, Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, and the Hamptons, certain grocery stores have been ransacked by the number of people flooding in. A rural county in Idaho that actually suddenly became a hotspot because it's a place where a lot of wealthy people have mm. second homes. Year-long Hamptons residents say the outbreak is leading to class warfare. It's just so good for them. That's awesome. Look, I'm not hating. I'm not. I'm just saying if you have enough money to go to your second, third, fourth home, at least let me quarantine in your first home. I should be laying by a pool instead of laying in front of the bathroom door while my roommate takes an hour long shower. Dan, are you done yet? Dan, your date can't smell you over Zoom. Dan. Dan, uh. But spending your quarantine in your vacation home is just for poor rich people. Mega rich people. <laughs> Run for Corona and the medical equipment runs with them. The luxury hotel company in Switzerland is now offering a COVID-19 hotel stay that can include a $500 coronavirus test. High-end clients called saying they wanted to wait out the shelter-in-place orders somewhere upscale and say they'd prefer to have medical care come to them. Concierge doctors who cater to rich people and celebrities have been selling tests to patients and their families even when they weren't showing symptoms. Only 1% of the population of Florida has been tested for coronavirus, but 100% of the residents of Fisher Island off Miami have gotten the antibody test. Now the residents purchased 1,800 test kits for the island's 800 families, as well as for their housekeepers. The island is only accessible by boat and has an average income of two and a half million dollars. Okay, okay, first of all, why are rich people still allowed to have private islands? Did we learn nothing from Jeffrey Epstein? The takeaway here is that money buys you access, whether it's to testing, to government relief, or to an eBay auction of that peach that Timothy Chalamet gist into and to call me by your name. I was so close to getting that peach, but the state of Georgia swooped in last minute because they wanted to make it their mascot. But honestly, having an island full of tests is only impressive if you're mega rich. If you're ultra rich, the coronavirus is just like anything else in your life. <laughs> Dope as f Billionaire David Geffen is currently floating on the waters off the coast of the Caribbean on a $590 million super yacht. Fears about the coronavirus are boosting the market for luxurious underground bunkers, offering the rich and famous a place to ride out a pandemic with stockpiled food, blast proof doors, escape helicopters. Wow. Oh my God. God, they got a luxury bunker with an escape helicopter. I didn't even know that was a type of helicopter. I thought that helicopters only came in sightseeing, emergency, and bachelorette date. And look, I don't care how nice they are. Luxury and bunker should not be next to each other. That's like chic jorts. Which actually, now that I say, might be kind of a look. Okay, yeah, and sold. Okay, so yes, the rich are living a different quarantine life than us, sure, but I'm not mad because they're finally figuring out that they need us more than we need them. They can't survive without their housekeepers, their drivers, their cooks, their nannies. They can't even vacuum. They don't even know how to use the dishwasher and all you have to do is just put the little kerplunky thingy in it and close it. Just look at the real housewife who tried to clean her own toilet. And by clean, I mean contaminate. Second toilet, mom. You got this. No, it's my third toilet. <laughs> Damn! She's wiping down the toilet with the same brush she used to wash the bowl. Corona is the last infection that she needs to worry about. She looks like Donald Trump trying to give a woman a real orgasm. It's like, clearly you have not done this before. 
But I think we can all learn a very important lesson from this. A lot of people are seeing how well the affluent are doing during this crisis. And they're saying stuff like, OVERTHROW THE ONE PERCENT! Or SOCIALISM NOW! Or EAT THE RICH! But remember, before you eat the rich, wash them off first because damn, look, that shit is nasty! Uh